Welcome to Power Query video number 10. Hey, if you want to download this file and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a great video here where we're going to talk about the unpivot feature in Power Query. Now, here is a table across tabulated table. This number right here means, hey, the Carlota products we sold in stores in the US. And we want to unwind this table into a proper data set. So all of the boomerangs need to be in a single column called boomerang. And all of the sales channels need to be in a column called sales channels and the units here. Now this is one example. We'll also see this example here where we go from this table and use the unpivot feature to go into a proper data set. All right, let's start here. Now normally, we start off with our table as an Excel table, and we go up to Power Query. But if the table has not been converted, and you click From Table, it'll try and convert it to a table. Sometimes you don't want that. So check this out. This is an amazing trick I learned from Bill Sizzes at YouTube. If you have a data set, and you go to Data Filter, and you turn the filter on, Power Query will recognize it. Now I'm going to just use the keyboard Control Shift L and then Control Shift L again to turn it off and on. So if you want to use this feature, you hold Control Shift LL. It turns on for a second, then off. Now when we go to Power Query from table, you got to be kidding me. Look at the formula up here: Excel.CurrentWorkbook name, filter database. That is an awesome trick. Now the first thing is we want these to show up in our first row. So I'm going to go to the top left corner and say, use first row as header. Now these are the names, these field names up here that we want in a single column. So I'm going to select this column, transform, unpivot, drop down, and I'm going to say unpivot other columns. This is the one we want to remain. These other ones we need to unpivot. So bloop, we could have easily selected those four columns and said unpivot those. All right, so now we have mostly what we want. We're going to select this and name it Boomerang. This one will be Sales Channel. And this final one will be Units. And that's it. We've unpivoted. Now we can close and load to Table existing worksheet. I'm going to put it right over in cell N2. Click OK. Click Load. Now I'm going to close this. This was grouped. Now this table right here is connected over here. If we were to change anything, and in this case you don't really need to, but if you did, if you change something like this to 2000, if you come over and right click Refresh, it will update. Let's go look at our second example. Here we're going to have, we're going to go from a table where we have class date and two locations where we have attendance numbers and the teacher that teaches in one, two locations on this particular day. And what we want is we want to take these two columns, take the the field names at the top and place them into a single column. The numbers will come to attendance and then class date and teacher will be separate columns. All right, so I'm going to ungroup that. All right, now this one, let's convert it to a table, because then as we add new records, it's automatically updated. Control T to get our table, and Enter. We could go up to Design and name it, or we can use Alt JTA. And I'm going to name this Attendance Table, and Enter. Now let's go ahead and go up to Power Query. Now let's see what the, the keyboard is to get a table into Power Query. It's Alt, and check that out, Y1 and then Y7. Oh my heavens, that's a lot of keys. All right, now the first thing we want to highlight, highline, and then hold Control and click on White Center. And now I'm going to right click and use Unpivot, because those are the two columns we want to unpivot. So there we have all of our values. We're going to double click the header here and call this Location, Enter. Double click Value and call it Attendance, and Enter. Now I want to do some sorting. 
Now, the funny thing about sorting over in Excel is if this is going to be the major sort and you're using the buttons, you actually have to sort the minor column and then the major column. If you're using the dialog box, then the major one is on top. But watch this. Here, we're, we're kind of using a drop down. When I first tried this, I did it in the wrong order. I have to sort the major sort first. So I'm going to say ascending, highlights on top. Then I come over here and I'm going to click descending because I want the biggest one and it keeps the sort order of the first column. That's kind of counterintuitive if you use the buttons over in Excel. But over here, do the major one and then the minor sort. Now I want to move these two columns. I'm going to click on the first one and then hold Control and click on the second one and click and drag. So we really have our, our steps sa saved over here, including our sorting and our reordering. Now we can close and load to. I'm going to go ahead and put this on a table, existing sheet collapse. And let's put it in N1. Click OK. Table, that's fine. Click Load. Now I can see I forgot one of the steps, but no problem. I can come over here and right click Edit. And probably for both of these columns, we're going to have to check our data type. There's actually two places. There's data type there. And over in Transform, there's data type. So date, or we can use the, if we're going to do attendance, I don't think I want any. I think I want to make it a whole number. Now I can close and load, and boom, it updates. Now let's go ahead and add a new record. Tab 12 slash 23, there was 35, 26, and it was Gardenia again. So now if we want to update this, we have to right click, refresh. We could go to Data, Refresh All, or we could use the keyboard Control Alt F5. And sure enough, there is Highline 35 Gardenia, and then down here there's Highline or White Center 26 Gardenia. Now that's pretty amazing, right? We added this this record over here, and when we refreshed it, did all of the things we said. It unpivoted the two columns, sorted, moved things around. Wow, unpivot feature. One, two examples. We'll see you next trick.